Shrine. Oh, Infernal Shrines. Well, that's a pretty good variant map. Of course, with the Fury build and all that sort of thing, but I just love it. We are in the bottom, so we'll most likely be filling... What? These are my heroes. There we go. Locked on out. Ban first go. Let's see if we let Sammy through. If we don't, then let's immediately put our mind into places with multiple hero hits. You know, maybe something like JoJo would be pretty powerful. That top one threw me for a bit of a loop there, but that is Zul being hovered over there. Powerful pick for the map, particularly with Sylvanas out. Is Ringo going to go for the Sammy? Or are they going to let it open? If he gets the Sammy, we'll show a JoJo. Otherwise... Well, we could also do a false head. It's going to be Lunara, actually. So spreading around them poisons and such. So we don't want to be something too, too squishy that's going to die as that goes on. There's going to be an ETC and a Kerrigan already shown with a Vala. Hmm. This is starting to look like a bit of a Tyrael comp. Cool. He's good. It's looking pretty good. Asmodan able to slam the middle areas. Cool. Looks like we got a plan. I On the enemy team, I don't think Tyrael... Oh, no! I was going to say, I don't think Tyrael's hot enough to incur the ban. But they did decide to get rid of it. Hmm, we can still put our money in some other departments. Maybe something like Skeleton King could be good. There's also Artanis, which might not be too bad. Lots of things to melee in there. We could do a damage monk, perhaps? Or we keep things a little more sane. Cool. Looks like we're going to go with the Leo. And we'll have some good targets to drain. With the Vala and the Kerrigan here, we really don't need to invest in any more damage. Because Vala is such a machine if she can feel safe. We have two options there. Double support. Or double tank. Kerrigan's going to have enough CC with the ETC to stun everything. So as long as I'm bringing some lane clear, some raw damage... I'll be pretty spot on. Adding something like a Tychus to this would just cause too many squishies with only an ETC to guard it. As much as I would love to wail on that Asmodan. Oh my, doesn't Zul look spooky up there? And they're going to grab up the Ariel. Nice looking Ariel. Master skin. And battle chest. What would he want in this case? They got auto attacks. They got Asmodan. Probably a nice mage, like a Kale Foss. Okay, cool. I'm happy to see the Li Ming. You got your Infernal Shrines pits. Full of little skeletons walking around. So in that case, we should be able to dodge the majority of what Li Ming throws at us. And I think this will be I think this will be pretty good. This looks good. I'm excited. They got a Tyrael to protect it. Angel powers combining. Hmm. She wants some Asmodan. It's gonna be Tyrael throwing a sword, leaving teleport. Ariel probably doing the Aegis. But Asmodan and Lunara may take leap. We'll keep an eye on Lunara. I think we should entomb here, though. I don't see this team. Nah, they don't really have any melee outside of Tyrael, so there's no real reason to do March of the Black King here at all. Unless things get strange. 
And then we'll ride the strangeness and see what happens. And I think that new bike is going to look real good with my Space Leoric. I did not end up getting the Space Leoric cycle, but that new one, I think, will be spot on. Let's see here. I mean, really, my job in this instance is to help kill Asmodan. The battle begins in but outside of that, I don't really have a purpose in this comp. So let's do reanimation because I can die instead of someone else. And there's no real high value targets that are going to be trying to squirrel away like a Muradin or something like that. So let's just do reanimation and die so someone else may live. Particularly our squishies. Nice whip there. Master skin, so you would expect high reaction times, but already good to know. Whoop. Nice little dodge there, too. Cool. Let's just go ahead and get in position. Ooh, he's giving a dance. Ah, oh, pulled off his own... His own stun there. Easy mistake to make, but we'll be watching Kerrigan from now on. In the early game here. It'll be a very important part of the comp, and then we need to take inventory on Vala as well. And see who is most worthy of the support. So far, Tyrael doesn't have the wiggle in him, though, which is calming. It'll make my job easier. Did she get it? Alright, I'm going up into the top. Apparently. I guess Vala was having a tough time. Top is most divided, though, so that's where you'd do your single. There was Asmodan briefly off to the side there. Oh, I made a long walk. Let's see if we can... Oh, be a part of this, maybe? That's a good hungering arrow. Let's actually go around and see if there's a... Activate the shrine. I'm kind of peaking the Ariel's curiosity by hanging out there. But she's good on the whip, so let's see the whip before we make a Drain Hope connection. A love connection. Hmm. BLT. Bones. I think I'm just going to do my Royal Focus business. Scare off some folk. ETC take over the tank in for a bit. Good connect. We're keeping Li Ming really tied to us, which was, was my exact plan going into this. Yep. I'm gonna go deal with Asmodan. He's got a large amount of health. I think he already bailed, though. And since things are a little calmer up here, let's take a little break. And see what's going on. Particularly with Asmodan's talents. See how responsive we have to be. So we got dominance. It's gonna be a Calamity build, most likely. We got Sin's Grasp and Taste for Blood. Okay, cool. So as long as we can keep Asmodan a little frightened, we should be able to stop him from completing that quest pretty easy. There they go. Mm, nice little body block, but it's in tower range. An early seven for us. Let's see. Let's just do a slow. That'll freak out the squishies. Oh, it's really making its way up here, isn't it? ETC is getting on back. Lunara is back in the middle. Let's hang out for a moment, though, and see. Service has its 
where everyone else got up to, and they got up to the mid, so we went in on Asmodan there for a bit and drained his big old health pool. Serial in the bottom. Hmm. That direction on that wisp made me think there's a gank coming for us. Nah, it's just being readjusted. I guess they're probably doing a camp then if she's putting that much attention into her wisp. Probably that one right there. Nope. Oh, there she is. One of them anyway. Anara went down to the bottom. See, she's got her seven now too. There's the calamity. Vala went down. Hmm. Let's see. Asmodan went down to the middle now, actually. They're not going to report. I might as well get a bit of a lead here. And just keep catching everything coming out of Li Ming. So I can't actually get a skeleton. Pretty decent body block on Tyrael here. Nice. Solid. Oh, that's a good stun, though. But I've got places to be. I am the unofficial response to Asmodan. Who is doing what Asmodan should be doing in this position. Go ahead and give that a clear as we make our way down there. Here's the Entomb. I'm actually using that as part of the Royal Focus there. You get a 50% more damage on your skeleton swing when you do a Wraith Walk before it. Gosh, that top's burning fast, though, isn't it? Seems like they're okay. Arya went down. We lost to Kerrigan, but... She was probably a bit uppity anyway. Asmodan got up top. Looks like I can take a well, though. Oh no, we're just gonna have to leave that orb. It's not worth it. Let's check Asmodan's progress. Oh, good. He's getting nice and held back. Minara, Tyrael. Missing the Leeming. There's an Ariel. Looks like it's actually a pretty big fight going on. And he's gonna chase me? Gotta kill the little minion first. He actually gives health to the laners. It's kind of an odd buff. As far as the normal sort of MOBA buffs go. Alright, they're gonna steal that front. I like it. Leeming's in the top, so nothing really is going to go down down here. Now I have a Vala in range, so I can actually entomb Asmodan. He's got Black Pool now, though. He's going to start stacking it out a bit. Let's see, what did Tyrael do? Okay, he's Sanctification. Oh, Kerrigan goes down. Right wing, save me, Arcane Orb. We're still walking. Let's see, what do we need here? It's probably Spell Shield. We're absorbing everything that's coming out of Li Ming pretty well. Yeah, 
they're not moving too fast yet. We'll be able to get down there. Plus now I'm hanging out with Brightwing. Alright, they're going pretty fast now. Let's see if we can scare them off. The big engage out of ETC. Ooh, we got a little too far out there. Oh, we'll come on back. Actually been doing great on orbs, apparently. Oh, that's a good Aegis. Terrigan, though. We can get Li Ming down. There we go. Ah, they still got it. This is gonna stun me. It's a decent little pile, but... Oh my goodness. Brightwing's doing a great little dance for us this whole game. Excellently done. The enemy's punisher is no more. I'll go stop that top. This might even be two orbs up there for me. Getting close to being done here. Yeah, let's go hang out with this so we get that orb as well. It just took a camp in the bottom, though, so I should probably report down there once I have my pretty little orb. ETC's already on his way. We can assume, then, that they probably moved on to their camp right here. There's Ariel, actually. Nice. That's really powerful. And I've missed out on a lot of the team fights too, so that's a great entomb to have in front of everybody to encourage us into the late game. Hmm. Let's do a second skeletal swing since we're empowering them. The second one won't be empowered, but will still increase my burst damage. And with that double slow, I'll be going pretty well too. They're really dancing around in the top there. As we dance down in the bottom. Cool, let me go respond to him. Is he just gonna straight head into the pit here? No, he's dancing around towards the bottom. Once we're 20, we'll be able to actually have auto attacks at 2% health. We might have a little more oomph in those cases. Ugh, they're not going to angle down here fast enough for me to engage. Cool, I'm glad that didn't hit. Now we have to dance for a little bit. ETC's face melt. Push him out of the drain. Hope that's not a problem, though. We're still doing just fine. Okay. We got empowered. Let's do it. Make sure Li Ming doesn't get a reset on me. There's Asmodan we could chew on. Oh, there's still a, there's still a well down here. Man, 
Nothing we can do about that. I think we sunk everything in material there. Ready your weapons. The unleashed a mortar punisher. And that's as much my problem as everyone else. Oh, we can leave a little butt here. For it to jump. I see. The Entomb is ready, we just need live, living people. Quest complete. Not like we want to die or anything like that, but it is an option now. ETC's making an engage. It didn't land, sadly. He's revealing right now. They wouldn't go straight for our camp, though. Tyrion got the slow whenever he gets attacked. I gotta go clean out that top. Yeah, it's got a demon on it, too. Oh, that's a lot of damage on those buildings when those get delivered. I feel like we have the superior comp. And we'll win this out eventually, but it's definitely been a bit hard. Another camp, too. And now they're going for the bottom as well. We got two globals, they're just responding to things faster than us. It's stronger on the rotation, perhaps. Oh, there's Asmodan, ETC's leading the way. We've all got one place to go, so that's good. Alright. It's all really going to come down to this one, because this will be for keeps. There's an Asmodan pulling around. ETC's coming in from behind. As long as they can deal with that stuff in the front. Gosh, can't. How many did I have on them? I think they'd be able to kill the front line. Well, I've got three in the back, but Asmodan does throw over the head. Oh, rough. And then Kerrigan goes in all by herself? Bummer. Sure, we could have done more there. Attack from the front, not get isolated and burned down. They're 20 now as well. Ooh, they're going fast as well. Well, we're just gonna get 20 too. A frozen punisher moves against hmm? us. They have taken a fort. Well done. Service has its reward. Let's see what we can cook up here. Oh man, ETC exploded up there too, didn't he?
Yeah, I guess we didn't expect that we had to make up for damage. And now in light of the situation that has arose, the lane clear build for Leo has gone a bit silly, hasn't it? Yes, my it's gonna happen. We assumed Vala could pump it out like mad. What is she actually sitting at? She's at top though, so we can still win this thing. No, my hate. Still got me defending, so that's good too. Looks like they are out and about and on the move again. Moving up to top now to take the next one. We really need to catch out someone by themselves right before the objective. That's something they're doing phenomenally well moving together. There's Li Ming in the top. Oh, they're all there again. Oh, we get one more go. Maybe that's really the problem is... Bala maybe gets caught out too early. Ends up taking a bunch of damage and isn't able to continue the engage once we're all done. Oh my goodness. Must be... I'm gonna come up fast. We still got the two damages. Let's see what we can make happen in these fleeting moments. I mean, maybe with core we can finally have enough damage to finish it out. I'm coming back. Here I come. Oh, wow. Li Ming just wrecked everybody. Hmm. So, in the end, I had to bring more damage. And we didn't expect that. We thought we could fill, fulfill a counter Asmodan, lane pushy, Vala, ETC, Kerrigan, get the kill in the end. And we just clean up and counter Asmodan, scare him off. But those whips were point on, so I didn't want to invest further into a Drain Hope build. Also, with Sanctification able to turn off my drain hopes as well. Brightwing did a good job though. Brightwing did a very good job, but I think that it's the, it was the old Vala did okay. She did great damage. In the end it was just one of those she tick always would take the early hits, get zoned out, go have to heal up. Brightwing would have their attention on them. The Vala would stop attacking, the damage would be down. Tanks would make an engage maybe a little late too. It wasn't exactly a stellar performance on either one of our cases there. So, not enough points to reach demotion, but a bit of a shame, because I feel like we really did draft quite strong. The Aegis, though, just kind of snuck in, too, and stole a lot of kills from a lot of people. I think Kerrigan's probably about where her damage would be, even if she was doing a bit better. Maybe we needed something... That could stand a bit more. I mean, in 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 the light of the the performance of the Kerrigan and Vala, I think we would have been better off with the Tychus, and that's a bit of a shame. It was a very, I think it was a very decent draft, but man, they had some real power and just kept coming. And it was that mirror ball that got me there when I left my ghost behind. I did not expect expect to explode that quickly. But that Calamity, that's the sort of team you want Calamity in, where you're just feeling real good. And everyone was getting real messed up. That late game, Repulsion 2, was knocking everyone around and doing some good isolations as well. How many times did I die? Four? That's not atrocious, given my build. 
Oh well. Not worth getting super into it. Brightwing has really good healing numbers. You do make a decent point. Why is Brightwing's damage so low? Most Brightwings do have a higher damage output. It is a full support build. Maybe they said they mainly support two. This is something I see a lot in our full support guys. I think probably hovered round, had very powerful positioning, but didn't get out any auto attacks, which Brightwing has really great auto attacks. And you got to make sure you're letting those things fly. Otherwise, you're missing out. Missing out on a lot of damage. Brightwing does some pretty good damage, and those spits, too, can be a big part of that as well. And you don't have to put any talents into it either. Terror Clock! Terror Clock! Let's get to it. It's Garden Terror. I talked earlier about how I discovered Butcher is very powerful here. When you're inside the Garden Terror, you can pick up meat and you can cause meat to drop. So, you know what? In light of that, I'm thinking either a Tychus or the Butcher. So, let's go ahead and show a Butcher and see what happens. Maybe we'll get talked off of it, but I think it's a very powerful pick. I think it synergizes great with Varian because he has a single target stun as well. Though I don't know if he'll be tanking or what he'll be up to. I guess he really doesn't have to decide. He certainly doesn't have to let us know what he's going to get up to. Because he should be a fluid, free little bird. Free to make his own decisions. Though we actually ban out Zeratul for starters. I like the Lost Viking ban, of course. Might as well get rid of him. But yeah, that Zeratul ban is a bit surprising. Master Sin Tychus there leading the way. A great I think destiny. with Varian, with Medic, I'm really liking this Butcher idea already. The hunt is on. Varian's doing DPS. Varian deeps. Maybe we can get Hickabobs. To do some tanking. Sweet, Chen would be great with this. We already have enough single target stun. Some disruption. Would be very powerful. I think this looks pretty darn good. Zabumafu on Brightwing, nice. A puppet lemur for those who aren't. In the, what would that be, early 2000s no of children's shows? Blood Splat. Putting together his last ban. He's going to get rid of ETC. Doesn't know there's a Chen waiting for him. I think, too, the morale should be pretty safe here. Able to top off Lunara nice and fast. And help her to keep going. And is... Balls thinking that there's something wrong with Butcher, maybe? No? Ooh, he's thinking about Diablo. Diablo is also a very powerful combo with Varian because again all those glorious stuns and now we're gonna have a butcher on top but the one thing we could fall to really bad here is if they death ball otherwise we have a fantastic single target destroying comp that should rock face I'll let the guys know once I'm in here that I'm gonna ride the majority of the terrors so I can pick up all that fresh meat drops along the way it's going to be a monk. That'll bail on the field, most likely. I don't see him going Divine Palm with that group so far. And an Alarak. Okay, that is probably the only loop we're really thrown here. I think there's no blinds. There's a Polymorph, sure. But Varian will probably get to, to the target before I do. So let's go ahead and do this. We got plenty of background DPS out of Lunara with a really cool clean it up camp. I like it. Let's see how it fares on Garden Terror. Tychus is already gone. We didn't need another tank for anything. So no Leoric today on Garden Terror. Let's try this out. It is going to be solo tank to Haka, yes. He's palling up with his Master League friend. Should be interesting. Though they have the double support, so I wouldn't expect Tahaka to just explode. He can dive underground. 
get out of some crucial moments, some crucial stun locks. And that could give us a trouble. I think our biggest real problem here... Well, it might be Diablo and the Tychus. That could be a real issue. Depending on what Hickey Balls is into. His discount moonshine store. Hickey Balls discount moonshine. Or that name could be offensive, and I'm saying something that's offensive that I don't know. I need to be careful when reading names out loud. But my biggest concern is getting silenced at a crucial moment when I need to regenerate myself. Because I can complete my quest while in the terror. I'm pretty stoked for it. Let's do... The gates shall open in hmm. 10 seconds. Normally I do chopped meat, Five, but since we're going to be four, having a garden tear three, round, two, let's not even bother. In fact, let's do... Fight. Spread Ooh, we can do... Spores. We can think about doing cheap shot, because we have quite a few stuns on the team. How's their auto attack damage? It's decent, but Tychus will ruin anything I do. So let's just do Invigoration. No hard engages for me. I just want to get my meat. And just play nice and safe and cool and no hard engages until the quest is done. Is everyone still there? Yep, they're all still piling around. Looks like we might have an uppity monk on the enemy side. Ooh, that's quite a bit of damage, isn't it? Let's see what his level 1 is. He is full damage. Which I really don't know what those outputs are going to be like into my butcher. So we're, we'll have to be a bit careful here. There's three in the middle. I don't see Dahaka, though. So let's just hang back. Keep it cool. And keep an eye on Monk spec. There's Dahaka in the top. But now we're missing Alarak. And Monk here smartly. Oh, I <laughs> I dodged everything. Oh. Oh, all my lucky dodges. Oh, and my meat. Well, they're getting seeds in the top. Looks like Varian and Morales are having a good time. That's a scary position, though. Sadly, Diablo did not stunlock him into tower range. We need to put my own assumptions aside. Because I've played too much Diablo in my lifetime. And I have a lot of assumptions. Let's just go ahead and start this up. Come on. Let's help our allies. Oh no, right into the thing. It's like they're already going on the bottom. Will that be enough for a full tear for them? I could really use that tear. Yeah, it is. Bummer. Rocky start for us. There's Tychus though. Maybe we can get Tychus. Let's do that cheap shot. My children must sleep for now. I'm on my way. Do I need to focus on the meat? I hate to say it, but your enemy. We lost a Lunara now. Was she in the top or was she? Where was she? I'm not entirely sure. It looks like it is going straight into the bottom though. Hmm. Well, we had a a Morales who needed a, a camp. And then she's kind of in an odd position, too, because she can't do anything by herself. So we are going to have a lacking lane presence. When someone goes down. We got two in the top, so we're good to charge. We 
found a friend, though. Gosh, I really need meat. Yeah, there's an Alarak. Here we go. Finally, some stun stacking. Admit it. You enjoy that. Cool. Yeah, hopefully, that was the encouragement we all needed to death fall up and make this a thing. Great positioning on these. These plant transformations everywhere. Well done. Your enemy's terror. It's a monk inside as well. All right, let's finally get to stacking and stop viewing objectives and such. That one early death has put us down about ten meat. It's big lanes though. And do we need healing? Who's our healer? Morales? Hmm. Nice to take care of yourself, though, isn't it? It'd be funny if that affected me while in the tear, but I know it doesn't. Don't think I need ability shielding. Let's just do lane heals. Just need, like, one more deuter in range. can take a couple hits. Dahaka's now down in the bottom. Okay, cool. Varian was just under him. Falls in 30 seconds. Are you ready for some amusement? He's thinking about maybe moving me around. They are almost 10, aren't they? From our early woes. Let's see, it is... Looks like it'll be Fury build. Lenara goes down again. I'm honestly not seeing what she's up to. She could be having a rough time up there. Up to 40? Ooh, they're going hard on mid, aren't they? Whoa. Diablo goes down. Alright, well, let's just focus on the objective. Gosh, we need 10. There's Monk. He's looking like he's going to head this way. This will be a terror, though, so I can finally ride that and get some good meats. Stop Dahaka from getting three. Aw, oh, that's a bummer. We'll just take it down the middle then for starters here. Let's do some isolation. Let's do the lamb. There, your terror has come to life. Oh, nice. Ooh, nice job, right wing there. Oh, the hack it. Something around our back. No, they're just going down to respond to theirs. Your fort has been destroyed. See, they're right in the choke there. Oh, Alarak's back. Let's keep them away from the tear. The Haka kind of sensing where I'm going. Ooh, not a lot of time left on this one. Ah, oh, well, that simplifies what we're going to do. Your has oh, I just need... Oh, it's out of range. Oh, no. Oh, that's good. Gross. Your 
Oh well, hey, in the background though. No, oh, oh, it's, oh, okay. Yeah, there he goes. Squirrely little monk. Nice. It's putting on some good damage. Let's actually check the damage here. Whew, that's not where we want to be. Your enemy has destroyed a fort. And the in the middle. And he's walking his way up, isn't he? Get some more progress. Does Lunara need help with whatever she's doing down there? She's almost done. I think she might need a little help finishing it out, though. I must Night falls, heroes. All right, we don't really need splash here. How many? No, no, not too many. Empower basic attacks. Savage charge could be interesting. Oh, it's really going down up there, isn't it? Gosh, I don't want to be a part of it. Okay, it's a little out of position, though. They're coming from behind. There's a lot of them, though. There's a Tychus laser. I don't know how many are in there. Pretty good progress. 75, 10 minutes. Oh, Diablo goes down again. Bummer. And Dahaka. Okay, just down there. 72 for them. They're going to push out the top now. Cool. Varian's responding to it. Oh, nope. It's coming in hot. There's... There's Lunara. No, don't don't go help her. Just dodge. Just gotta avoid them all. Three levels down. Okay, there's an Alarak who could easily be by himself. Nice, nice. There's some heroic meat back there I'd like to grab. There we go. This is the kind of stagger that we needed the whole time. That was very good for meat. And we actually do have a decent... I need this too. Cool, Varian knows what I'm up to. He knows I'm all about that meat. Yes, that is enough. Soon the God and Terror will be yours. Actually, we can finish it out. On just two more waves. 16. Hmm. I think we're just going to do Enrage. Cool, I can finish off the last bit. Oh, wait, there's... Get some tower range. All right, she'll be okay. Their terror's coming in, too. I guess we'll use it to sort of pseudo-defend... Brightwing down in the bottom though. It looks like they have a decent little well done. The terror shall bit of momentum. But this thing's dead. Your enemy has uprooted a foot. Well, that's pretty good. Better to be good. Going on in the back there. Okay. 
We actually still have 30 seconds on this guy. No one's getting left behind, right? Yeah, we all made the same move. That'll be the end of the terror, but I am all quested up. Finally done. We need medic. Yep. Dahaka's in the top. Delivering stuff. We won't get in range of him fast enough. Looks like it won't be a too big of a delivery. How's the wall doing? It's still going. Now we haven't seen them. We can assume that they're taking their camp. Yep, there it is. Night falls once more. As long as we hang out with and one of our other stun bots, shall rise again. I think we're good to win. Diablo, we need Lunar in range. She is going back a bit though. Okay, there she is. The hack is pushing out the bottom again. That will need to be stopped at some point. They're just all gonna run to the bottom there. Alarak. Well, Tychus is still dancing in the top. That does give us a terror. Let's see if we can... We need... <laughs> we need a wall down to actually get at him. Let's see if hopefully he sticks around. There he is. Where are they all at? They're getting seized, actually. He's gone, though. It is time to harvest. Bring my terror to life. Let's retreat. We need 20. <sighs> the dawn has come, heroes. And with it, my children. Okay, Diablo's gonna ride for a bit now Your that I have Slaughterhouse. I'd hurry if I were you. Are they bushing us? Well, I won't be the first one, no. Okay, Morales is gonna be okay. They're gonna have a terror as well. It'd be nice to just have one without a terror. Without a terror versus. Our terror's gonna go into the bottom, but no, we got we gotta respond to whatever they're doing, otherwise we lose a keep. A terror has grown for your There's Dahaka. We just need a single good moment with everyone in range. There's Dahaka in the bottom still. He just dug. Oh, well, he's probably 20. Doing some 20 business. good. That'll actually hold them while I'm in here. That's what it, well, all we needed. All we needed was one good slaughterhouse. Oh, these polymorphs are great. I'm just gonna stay targeted. I'm butcher after all. All right, not as pretty of an opening as I would like, of course. 
Gosh, you gotta wait, don't you? They just make you wait for that butcher power to come through, but it is powerful once you hold. finally, finally get a hold of it. And nice job by Arvarian. Keeping it nice and simple, in my opinion anyway. I think the Fury is bit is the best. But we made some tough early game choices. Luckily, the Death Ball came together later on. And we were able to be a part of that with our stun chain. Yeah, look at all these people sticking around to vote. So I think I think we were indeed the weaker link there. As the quest maybe took too long to to get out of the way. I, of course, have my critiques of Diablo, because hey, I've played too much Diablo. So that shouldn't surprise anybody. But where do we end up? Two deaths only? Not too bad. Not too bad. We didn't throw it away by any means. And that Garden Terror stack was an interesting, an interesting experiment. I still think the Butcher is going to suffer. I think Varian just did it better than I could. So as cute as the Butcher is, as much as I love him, and I love the Ultralis skin, I do think the hero underperformed a little bit there. So we'll see what happens. Ooh! Battlefield of Eternity. The old Butcher map. No longer the map at all. You know, I'm still favoring quite a bit of gray mane here. Hey, Delari. Yeah, it's really cool seeing so many people on Twitch right now. Games being promoted, new advertisements and all that sort of stuff. That's sort of cool stuff. It's nice to see them really embracing it and doing the relaunch that we all hoped that Blizzard would eventually give the game. Hmm. He's a kitty cat. Okay. Meowing in chat. That is a time and a place. That puts you automatically in my mind about 13? Oh, yeah. Following up with a nice big zzz. Oh, cats are sleepy. It finally makes sense. It's been my cat getting on Hero League and tanking my score when I'm not watching. I never go on, on losing sprees or anything like that. So they ban out Varian. Got rid of the mouth. That still leaves Samuru, who I think is very much in his... Or Samuro, excuse me. Sammy. Old Sammy. I think this is very much his environment. Let's go ahead and show... Since Varian's out, let's go ahead and show maybe a Greymane. And we already have a Lunara, though. Hmm. There's Artanis. There's a Falstad. Falstad doesn't do too bad. So what's his plan? What is he thinking? Lenara has a bit of late game power. Same with Greymane, though. We're waiting on the cat guy to make his pick, but looks like he he fell asleep. He's a sleepy kitty. Going with the Rainer. Huh. When we looked up win rates earlier we saw a very high win rate on winner on rainer recently winner i guess you could call him and i'm not totally sure why we didn't really figure it out but there's the rainer i guess we really don't need falstad then we need something a bit more hmm it's gonna be a polymorph a vala vala li ming Hmm, gross. Well, there will be a ban in between my pick and theirs. Let's see. Let's see what Putt Malk wants. We're gonna ban out a Morales. Okay, Bala, Stim. Objective. Double. He wants to go double tank. Okay. Maybe some JoJo. Headstone. It's like... Hmm? You've already picked, Captain. Is there a problem with the Lunara? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did we... I... We'll just make the best of it. I think the double tank plan's real good. 
Let's go ahead and do the JoJo for the blinds on Vala. But we may have a Lunara that is not prepared. Either way, this with the double tank should be good because we'll last a real long time up front, which should give the sustained DPS time. Oof. Oh man, I'm liking their draft for the objective here though. But we have some good tanks. We got Rhaegar, actually. Don't see him much anymore. Yeah, I really like their objective, though. I'll be Ding during the Immortal phase since I'm low damage on the actual Immortal here. Whew, man, I'm gonna... Ugh, that's gonna be a lot of damage to just run in there. So we'll see. I mean, I know Muradin can bring it. I know Muradin can bring it. It's just we gotta get Lunara to 7. And Raynor also needs to get some levels under him. In order to put out a decent amount of damage. That Greymane though and Vala are just gonna go so fast. And you guys are right. Season Marksman would not be too good here. As you're not able to farm in lane for very long. Whole reason, you know, one of my favorite strategies of yore was the Butcher here. And now with his new quest mechanic, it's just not worth it. So we got great blind targets, other than Li Ming, of course. But we got great blind targets with Vala and Greymane. Hmm. Two of us are here. Have the minions of hell grown stronger? We are a match for them, regardless. The battle begins in. What do we want? Well, there's so many auto attacks. They are fast, but Valas can get pretty big. Greymanes can get pretty big. So let's just do reinforce. And I'll solo the top here. We gotta be getting close to masters. Eh, probably not. We're probably like level 8 JoJo. Kind of like Lily. She's someone I play a lot in Hero League, but doesn't really see the quick match for funsies practice. That bush could be rather dangerous for me. The looks... well, nothing yet. No Li Ming coming out to hit the towers early on. Seems right. Yeah, that seems a bit of a trick. They're trying to seduce me. Okay, nope, nope, it's not a seduction. Plus block makes such a great sound, doesn't it? Of course. Wing. Ooh. All right. Vala's an aggressive one. Maybe we could take advantage of that. Oh. Got back in range just in time. Well, that's quite the pile going on, but everyone looks pretty fresh down there. We'll go ahead and let this del deliver itself to the wall. Let's go ahead and check out some specs. We got healing punches. Healing punches. Looks like it'll probably be a multi-shot build. Possibly. It could be a lock-on build. Frog Rock. We approach your position. You know, we might be able to mess up Vala a little bit right before the key moment. And if we can make her bail and be unavailable for the actual event. There we go. I think she's just going to use her well, though, and show right back up here. Over here. That damage is going to be a little high. For me. Hopefully the burn is good. They got good and locked on. And they should be good to finish it out. Rainer's actually in lane, though. Oh, no. That might be too slow. I go. Oh, no. Rainer went lane and... Ah, I died, too. So we can't be hard on him. <laughs> uh, 
I'll keep Solo in nice and safe. Let's go ahead and we'll just grab up those Laws of Hope since we're doing Solo business. It's at least going to stop Greymane from just getting down a wall for free. Good. They're doing fine. Oops. Wrong way. Valiantly done the bummer of that isn't the cooldown. Just that Greymane saw me do it. Now he's going to up his aggression a bit. The sight for that, but we're all good. Seems right. By the light, be damned. They are doing all right in the bottom. Let's check in on Li Ming. It's going to be an orb build, looks like. So, not a magic missile build. That's good for us. There's going to be a dark flight or thick skin. They're all still down there. We're just breaking even with Greymane. He is doing Wolfheart. Yeah, he's just doing an objective burn. Not a bad idea. ETC. Getting lots of good progress done on his prog rock. Just spending abilities to get block stacks. As I try to zone out this... Gray main, but he just keeps on coming. Let's go and grab this for mana and the little bit of aggression we can have in the early bit. Bonus damage, ability, momentum. Let's do blessed momentum actually. Since we're going blocks and all. Here, this is exactly the sort of position we want it to be in, where we're pushing them back, getting to be a bit more defensive. Kavrazim is... Oh my goodness. Too low to engage. Our damage is kind of split all over the place now, isn't it? We got a Rainer. He's running for it. Just need to get a little organized. Yeah, once once Greymane's locked in there, that's going to be the rough part. Lenara's full backing as well. Hmm. It's like we all have maybe reported with half health. Karazin did go down as well, didn't he? Okay, well, there's Muradin, but... We're gonna have to zone super duper hard to... Oh, maybe ETC? Okay, Rainer's going. need to let them in just a little bit so they can start triggering the stuns. Just make sure Muradin has room to run. Oh, Vala cleaned him up. Did we lose our Rainer? He's still going. Good burn by Vala. Did we win? Ah, oh, we didn't. We didn't. We need another tap. All right. Two deaths on me. Three deaths on me. Oh, my goodness, gross. That's not what you want to see out of your JoJo. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, Rainer's burning the bottom. Let's see. What is he? Is he going? Okay, he is seasoned marksman, so... At the very least, when he's off by himself there, he's gaining stacks. 
and more late game power. Oh, those tens. Ah. Oh. Right, is it almost dead? It's almost dead. That's good. Lunar should be able to clean it up. Uh, oh, just right on in, isn't she? This will be a good snack. Come on, get ETC. Oh, Kyrazines oh, goes down. Vala is doing great. All right, Rainer protected the bottom, though. We didn't lose a keep. What do we need here? Let's see where our damage is at. Soon Lunar at the moment. And Rainer. We have a secondary tank. So let's do Falling Sword. Mm. Let's see, what did Kavrazim do? He's Divine Palm. Get down to the bottom. Nope, oh, nope, you leave me alone. Yep, I'm on my way. And they're all there. Let's see. Maybe we can get someone in range. Okay, we need a solid D. I guess I'm equally guilty for splitting off there. I'm getting chased or kited by Vala. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, <laughs> Rainer goes down. This is messy. We'll be up in time for the swap. That top needs to go, though. Another good mosh. I go. Well, we got our two block stacks. Over here. They're probably already in position. Look at that go. Oh, man, that's brutal. All right. Well, we got great defensive powers, hopefully, with Lunara and Rainer here. Look at that pile on top. Vala's doing such a great job. 26 seconds without my behind the wall defense. We're gonna have to let that go. There's nothing actually to stop. Our forge is lost. Seems that way. Did she go with Thornwood? No, she has Leaping Strike too. We can't even spread around the poison and kind of hope for something more. little dance we need damage don't we we gotta go burning it's not gonna be a lot of damage but we gotta add something back into the equation
Oh, what happened there? Oh, I guess uh, you chased. Nothing fancy, just you chased too deep. Oh, I can't stop that. Monk is going. He's blind though. Here comes Vala. He just wants to punch. He loves punching. Can't blame him. Punching's fun. I don't think. Okay. If they were here, I don't think we could have done anything about it. Unless it was just one of them hanging out. Well, let's see if we can climb our damage up. Oh, the support. He's cracked. Best two assassins in the game. Oh, he's talking about the enemy team, right? I don't think he's talking about... Raynor and Lunara. Could be, though. They're gonna go take double top. I don't think we, yeah, we can't respond to that. I think if Greymane's dancing around, they're all coming in. I just sunk a lot into Vala. Almost got her. Nice. Oh my goodness. Walk along with it. Greymate. Tap. Cool. All right. We finally get an immortal. Push six. They still have Vala, don't they? Yeah, they're already going. All right, the tanks are on the D. I go. An ally needs our aid. Hook me up. Hook me up with a fart. What? Oh. The core is getting flirted with. All right, it's time. Hmm. Everyone backed. Well, let's hope we can... Oh, no, I don't even have time to come back down. Oh my goodness. Well, she's going. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, that's brutal. Nope, we're going down. There is no final fight. Ooh. Well, you know, that wasn't as bad as maybe I thought I was with Mr. Meowers. We picked our Rainer. And then Lenora seemed to have misselected his hero. Maybe he plays too much Team League. He thought he wasn't picking an order or something like that. Either way, I did die three times in the early game. 
And that's something we need to figure out what went wrong there. I mean, clearly, Val and... Val and Greybane do fine laning against me. I didn't really put out anything special there. Couldn't really stop their push. Hmm. It's tough. It's tough. Because we get... We, you take all those... All those engagements and you give us a two-level lead instead of a two-level deficit. And they all look very different, don't they? And they all look very different. So... The dumbest moves when you're three levels ahead on tank look like fantastic positional miracles. But to judge your... To judge your team, and of course as a tank too, you're nothing but a pile of health that becomes the timer that people need to get a kill within. So I don't think we capitalized enough on our immortal, but nothing I could have done there. Blessed Momentum with the Reinforce was kind of a cute idea. I don't think we actually got to stand still and tack long enough. Falling Sword took way too long to come back down on an ETC. But I knew there was going to be some problem there because everyone backed out to stop the push and Rainer was up too far. And they weren't going to target me during it. I think Muradin did a fine job too. Hmm. Just too much damage, I guess. And not enough to stop it. Five deaths, though, on JoJo. Seven on our Kavrazim. I mean, clearly he was learning some new things, too. Got Earth Ally for himself. Basic attack. Heaven's Zeal to increase movement speed. I guess so Raynor and Lunara could keep on their targets. It's a bit of an odd choice, and I didn't see a Divine Palm land. Uh well, no one trolled out in a chat that seemed like it was going to be that way, so I don't think that's horrible. I think we just chalk it up. We need to figure out something more about JoJo. There's a mystery there as to how I should be solo laning that I need to work on. And I'm not sure what, what that edge is. What that special sauce is. Vala and Greymane on the enemy team were just very experienced, both in Master Skins. Clearly pissed off and bringing their game. And we sadly didn't have a assassin of that caliber on our side. Towers of Doom to finish out the day. And we are second pick. So let's see what the order is going to be, but we could try it for the very end here. As a map pick, I don't think my Fury build has too much merit, though. So let's definitely... Maybe just leave with the Tychus. What about Tassadar? Ban him out. There's lots of little walls that maybe Tassadar can see over. He's constantly cited as the most powerful support in the game by people who watch too much esports. You gotta live in the real world, where the solo queue is. Seth Lordson? He's gonna do the first pick. We haven't seen a single Samoro ban or pick today, actually. I mean, we haven't been on Blackheart's Bay. Have we? No. Leading with Zeratul. We also saw a Zeratul early ban today. Is that just because of esports? Because BlizzCon? There were tons of Zeratuls. If you ask pro players what should you have ready in your back pocket, they often say Zeratul. It's about time. Looks like we might have a bit of a contest for our support. Hmm. This is really building my Brightwing anxieties. Some of them are amazing. Some of them are very, very good. Gould and good map pick as well. ETC. Well, I have a Mosh Interrupt of sorts. I like the KT as well. Even though he'll need quite a bit of protection. So 
so Lord is going to be taking up the tank mantle. Mm, we're all going to have to babysit the ETC a little bit, or the uh, Kale. Okay, a JoJo. I just like the range on it. Ooh, a Tyrael goes well with the Tychus too. Fulfills that same sort of Vala role. Early supports. I think supports have some of the most powerful CCs in the game. And I think they should be late fix. Because you want to see what you're actually going to be reacting to. But I get it. I get it. And it's awesome that people have embraced support as their main biz. And there's plenty of Masters players who have gotten there by just supporting. Sounds busy. Chen Interior? That's interesting. I guess because they keep kind of diving forward. They have a forward momentum thing going on where JoJo sort of has a maintain the balance kind of thing going on. The crusade calls. I do like the range of the blind on JoJo, but I guess Chen could respond and save the Kael'thas as well. Davy here in the bottom breath. is having quite the fit. As he wants to add another auto attacker, it seems. I think Falstad would probably be best. I stand ready. Vala. Well, okay. There's a good auto attacker into into the JoJo. I honestly would like the Tyrael, but he picked up the Falstad. Yep. I think that would have been good with the Brightwing as well. But whatever. We've had some really strong drafts today that have not worked out. So, I think reading into the draft today seems to be a bit of an error. We just need to go with whatever's going on on the screen and assume that anything can kill us. Here, ooh, look at that. He's got himself a Cho'Gall picture. Seems to be a Twilight fan. Not the book series, not the movies or either. I'm talking about, you know, the Twilight Hammer. The faction. Oh, he might be a fan of Twilight. Who knows? Maybe he likes Sparkle Vampires. I agree Tyrael would have been stronger. I think KT is going to struggle, but Tychus at 13 can fulfill a pseudo off tank role, so we'll see. We'll see what we can cook up. Prepare yourself for battle, heroes. I, unless we're going into all melee, I never pick anything but press the advantage. So let's go ahead and grab up that. I wonder if mine works too. Nah. His actually goes through the wall. The battle begins. KT is a bit sleepy. Ooh. Oh, it's just a white version. I thought I had a Robo Cat. Five. It's a puppers. Four. Three. Two. One. Fight. We're down one as Mr. Assassin changes out his music. Gets himself a a lunch meat roll. You know, when you don't grab any bread, you just grab the lunch meat and the piece of cheese, and then you just kind of roll the two together. Cool. He got himself his, his lunch meat roll, his glass of orange juice, my favorite MOBA snack. Oh, that's a lot of piled stuff in the bottom. Let's go be a part of that. Ooh. Oh, there's now three down there. Fight the pile of deaths to get us going here. I saw the orb. There's just a Zero tool dancing around here. We're just going to play it cool. ETC, the only one I can see as well. There's Gul'dan. There's Vala. And I have a Brightwing with me. Still no Zeratul. Brightwing just left. Sells heroes. The altars rise. 
There's there a tool. Oh, Vala's going down. <laughs> awesome. Nicely done. That's just in the rhythm it. There's that Rhaegar still. Go forth and claim the altars in my name. The Raven Lord demands it. I am Lord of this realm. Ooh, nice wiggle on the Rhaegar. I mean, he does have increased movement speed, but still. Hmm. <laughs> I thought we... Well, they got the front. Okay, cool. It all worked out. Some inflated global expectations there, but it ended up working out in the end. Enough of this charade. Bring down the gravekeeper's core. I will not give up so easily. Let's see. JoJo's out of mana, so she just wants to get back. She doesn't want to start anything cute up there. There goes Val in the bottom. Not keeping an eye on Zeratul at the moment. KT's having a problem? Is he just spooking people? Fall stats heading into the top. I feel like we're getting a little out. There's a Zera tool. Death to all who serve the grave keeper. That ended up actually working out pretty well. Let's do that grenade. Ranged interrupt objectives and the like. We'll leave Brightwing down here to soak it out. Oh, and we're heading right on back down. Right on back down, but Falstad's in a good position for it. Sadly, the Zeratul death won't last us. Bala getting in position there. Brightwing can teleport back, I assume. KT may get snagged on his walk down here, so let's go. Squirt him. He's missing half his health, too. Oh, right in the back. Oh, that's a shame. Interrupted my my slide. KT is just not playing very safe. Oh, and showed up with half health to the objective. Ooh, he he cannot take your critique. We'll put Falstad back in the top lane. Just hanging out with such low health. He's not having any of it. Brightwing's not wrong. I'd be freaked out if I was Brightwing too. Let's save the grenade on cooldown here. Because I don't know where Zeratul is at the moment. That could be decent. Probably should go on Rhaegar though. Oh no, he's going down again. That should be everything he has, right? Uh, he had one more in him. Okay. Luckily, we pulled it off. Getting some good progress done. Everyone's going to go ahead and teleport out. I mean, Falstad is, is doing fine up there. I think Gul'dan's 
damage just surprised him in the early game. For these dudes? Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Let's just do the drill. There's a chance Odin could be neat, but they need an off tank when I hit. Up here for me. Let's see if we can keep KT going. The time is now. A good wind. Double kill. What's going on the top? All right, Zeratul on Falstad. Probably wings up here too, though. And we got it. Awesome. <laughs> Let's see if we can take a can. Doom to the grave. Man, I could do this by myself. It'll just take a little bit. That's a lot of stuff coming down the middle. It's a good flame strike. Well, Dan's damage is just slowly scaled up through these patches, and it's just gotten kind of nutty. Though it does have a buffer since it's damage over time for the supports to counter it a little bit. There goes Falstad back into the top. Rightwing's going to walk on down to the bottom. Let's follow Jojo. I think the ETC is coming down. I want to save my grenade to knock Zeratul out. Stealth if he comes this way. Wow. I'm surprised relaxation won the day there. Oh, no. Oh, nice. I can't do it. That was a good wind. That's the stuff. I can finally do some off tanking. Be swift, heroes. Do not let the grave And we got another. The altars before you. Huzzah! I was really nervous there that the laser was gonna cause a body block. And we we're all just gonna die like fools. There's Brightwing getting zoned a little, but there's a Vala down in the bottom by herself. Nah, she's not gonna get snagged. Falstad's getting pretty far out there, isn't he? He's definitely gonna bring some top. Oh, well, they found a Ghoul Dan. Nothing we can do about that. He's going down, he's going down. Oh, he's still going! Well, dang, first pick Brightwing's doing all right. I mean, she first picked it, so. It's their pick to control, but I'm impressed. I'm happy. I'm happy with the Brightwing. <laughs> KT, however, is continuing to have a rough day. Oh, they're kind of everywhere, aren't they? It won't be enough. So close, though. Darn void. Falstad's flying straight into the top. 
ETC Valar down. I should be able to get this no problem. Let's keep an eye out for any Zera tools. And they're actually holding the front, too. We got Gul'dan, we got ETC. Not really too bad of an idea. Just do Titan Grenade. Really can't stand still with Cool Dan dancing around. I've got four seconds on my self heal. All right, while that fears out, I think I can squeeze this in. Because they're all going to target the tank who got feared. Nice. Let's go ahead and grab this pile of XP in the top. All right, level advantages are good. Oh, no, Brightwing got... Got, got. That's understandable. Yep. Zeratul, everyone else is accounted for, actually. Good bit of damage. Kind of angle our bodies up into the pit. Oh, nope, it's going down. False ads going down anyway. They're all stuck defending their buildings. There's Vol in the bottom as well. Nice stuff. <laughs> a good kill. That's enough of that. Zeratul's still going though somewhere, isn't he? Ah, bouncy bullet. Nope, I gotta heal. I gotta heal on stuff. It's the only way. Let's drop a drill. Yes. Go drill. Nice! Ye value! No, he lives! Oh, he li just barely lives. Oh, okay, well, we got Zeratul. Brightwing went down, though. Gosh, they're so low in there. That'll be it, though, won't it? Yeah, she got it off! Nope, still one. Okay, he's got it in the back. GG. Alright, that was... <laughs> That, that was a game where I felt like, finally everyone's as rusty as I feel. Well done, heroes. That was Tychus. MVP. Nice job by JoJo. But I feel like Brightwing really was the star player there. JoJo may have had all the accolades and the numbers to make it work. But I gotta give it up for Brightwing. Falstead performed well. I stopped watching the KT at one point. No point in gathering that information any further. All we were going to see is... More tanking out of KT. But we seesawed wildly today. We net gained... Five points, probably. What? So we lost 90, 199. So we gained four... We played... So we gained, what? Eight points? We net gained eight points. That's not bad. That's not too bad. That moment there, hey, I had top damage for the team. Oh, nice, Avenger. Which I guess means I avenge the most deaths. Painbringer, though, for Gul'dan, actually. Hmm. Very impressed. Silencer? 
What does silencer mean? Most CC, maybe? Hmm. Unstable abnormality. Yeah. Compared to our Brightwing earlier today, bringing about twice as much damage with almost the exact same build, but the two changes are unstable, abnormality, and critterize, which is exactly what you guys... That's exactly what you guys were highlighting earlier as the problem with Brightwing's build. The awards do not have a mouse over no, they'll just tell me what their, their name is. Yep, Lodvar, yep. You've already gained enough information about the KT. There's nothing left to observe. He was out of position. He was a melee-focused wizard. And we already assessed that information. Just pushed him out of our mind. We put all that effort onto watching what JoJo was calling for. I didn't really watch Falstad either, because he died a couple times there in the early game. It was really just Johanna and Brightwing that was on my radar. 